Today, we will be going over the test of early cognitive and academic development. My name is Erica East. The test of early cognitive and academic development. We'll introduce, we'll go over the 10 subtests, examples from the test, how districts may use them and our resources. The Woodcock-Johnson Fourth Test of Early Cognitive and Academic Development is known as the ECAD. The ECAD is co-normed with the WJ the Fourth Batteries, Achievement, Cognitive, and Oral Language. The test was released in 2015. ECAD measures general intellectual ability, early academic skills, and oral expression in all children aged two years, six months through seven years, 11 months, and children with cognitive development delays through age nine, 11 months. The kit includes one manual, a student booklet, an easel, and a CD-ROM. The test is engaging with young learners in mind. It is made up of 10 subtests. Test one, memory for names. Test two, sound blending. Test three, picture vocabulary. Test four, verbal analogies. Test five, visual closure. Test six, sentence repetition. Test seven, rapid picture naming. Test eight, letter word identification. Test nine, number sense. Test 10, writing. A typical administration requires five to 10 minutes per subtest. The ECAT was developed in response to a need for a dedicated single easel battery to measure both cognitive abilities and academic skills. Although some unique tests were created for the ECAT, others have been adapted or alternate forms of the test that are widely used in pre-K and kinder populations. The ECAT gives the ability to identify specific cognitive and academic delays during a critical window of time when targeted interventions can be easy to implement and highly effective. The purpose of the ECAT is to assess emergent cognitive abilities, early academic skills, expressive language skills, and the presence of developmental delay. Test one, memory for names, controlled learning, task learning, and recalling, ability to remember previously unrelated information as having been paired, and motoric responses only. This means the student will only point to respond. Here is an example. You would say, I am going to show you an animal and tell you its name. Then I will show you a page with more animals. Remember to point every time I tell you a name. This is a zebra, point to the zebra. The student will then place their finger on the zebra. You would then show them this page. Again, you will prompt the child to point to the zebra. The child would then point to only the zebra. Test two sound blending, the ability to blend phonemes and syllables together. Oral response is required. Example, I am going to say a word one part at a time. Then you tell me the words that I said. 
you would pronounce the word flower. The child would then respond, flower. Another example is dad, D. The child will then respond, daddy. Test three, picture vocabulary. The ability to identify pictured objects. Word knowledge and correct word meanings. Oral response is required. Point to the picture on the page and say, this is a picture of a car. Point to the car. The child will then point to the car. Say car. They will then say car. Test four, verbal analogies. The ability to comprehend and complete logical word relationship. Use inductive reasoning to map the structure of the first part of the analogy onto the second part. Discover the underlying characteristic that governs a problem or set of materials. Verbal response is also required. Example, say, finish what I say. A bird flies, a fish. You would then pause and wait for the child to respond. The child would respond, swim or swims. Another example is, father is to mother as sister is to you would then pause and the child would respond, brother. Test five, visual closure. The ability to identify a drawing that has been altered or distorted. Verbal response is required. Point to the picture and say, what picture is this? the student will receive a distorted picture. An appropriate response for the picture shown would be airplane or plane. This test measures visual spatial thinking. Test six, sentence repetition. The ability to remember and repeat single words, phrases, and sentences from an audio recording. Oral response is required. This test measures short-term memory. Say, I am going to say something, then I want you to say it back to me. Hot food. The child will then respond, hot food. No partial credit is available for this section. They must respond saying the exact words that you prompted them to repeat. Test seven, rapid picture naming. The ability to quickly recall the names of simple pictures. Speed of lexical retrieval. Important factor related to reading often called rapid automatized naming two minute timed test it is suggested that you use your timer on either your computer your smartphone so that the student understands when they're they can no longer respond it is very important that you stay within the two minute period Rapid picture naming. Say, look at these pictures. Tell me the names of these pictures as fast as you can. When you finish the first row, start with the next row right away. So the student would say, hat, fish, flower, star, tree. Move on to the next row. Hammer, pig, cup, 
key clock, move on to the next row. And remember, they must stay within the two minute period. So after two minutes, their time is up. Test eight, letter word identification. Ability to recognize letters and read words correctly. Print awareness and letter word identification skills. So there are a variety of test questions within this subtest. So the first one is an example of just letters on this page. You would ask them to identify the letter K. They will point to the letter K. And then there are other questions that have a combination of both pictures and letters. You will then ask them to point to the letter K. They will then point to the letter and recognize that there are both letters and pictures on that page. They will also have certain questions that will have the words in a straight row as opposed to them jumbled on the page. You ask them to identify the letter and they do the same. Test nine, number sense. Counting, problem solving, mathematical knowledge, and basic computation. There are a variety of number sense questions, but here are a few examples. For the first example, you would simply say, show me your hands. The child will show you both of their hands. And then you say, show me your fingers. And the child shows you their fingers. And then you will say, show me one finger. And the child will just show you one finger. Another example, how many houses are there? The student will be provided with pictures. They are going to count and then respond. There are two houses. This is just giving them a little bit of practice, um, giving you the ability to assess their one-to-one -one correspondence skills. Another example, point to the largest star. They will simply point to the largest star. You could also point to the smallest star. And then they will point to the smallest star. These are just a couple of the number sense question examples. Test 10, writing. Single page student response booklet. Draw lines, trace letters, Produce upper and lowercase letters. Spell single word responses. Written response examples. So for example one, you will say, I am going to scribble along the left side of the sheet of paper. I want you to scribble along the left side of your sheet of paper. So you're modeling it for the child and then they will also scribble on their left side of their sheet of paper. Next question, I would like you to write the letter S. The student will then write the letter S. Another example, you will give each student a word and you will also use it in a sentence. It's very important that you say the word, you use it in a sentence, and then you repeat the word. But they are only going to write the one word. I want you to write the word he. He went to the park. He. Write the word he. And the child will then write the word he. Write the word in. We are in class, in, write the word in. And then the child will write the word in. Write the word fun. We have so much fun at school. Write the word fun. 
and the student will then write the word fun. Remember, all of the questions in test 10 will require a written response. The ECAT can be useful for school psychologists who are called upon to provide an evaluation for cognitive development delay for at least two reasons. First, the ECAT can help examiners identify a delay in early acquisition of broad CHC abilities. Second, the ECAD's underlying W scale is sensitive to the degree of disability through direct comparison to children of the same age, month by month. The W difference or W difference score provides the most accurate description of the child's development status relative to other children of the same age, although other scores for determining developmental delay are also available. For example, months delay, percentage delay, and standard deviation delay. To promote early identification and intervention services for children with disabilities, IDEA 2004 requires public schools to provide screening and comprehensive assessment for developmental delay for children beginning at age three. It is important to identify delays early so that individual education plans can be put in place to increase the acquisition of ability or skill development, or in some cases, eliminate the delay entirely. The ECAD provides an accurate description of the presence and severity of any specific cognitive development delay. Thank you. And this was my presentation on the test of early cognitive and academic development.